Hi everyone, welcome back to Conscious Crafting with We River Farm. My name is Chrissy Corson and I'm the South Shore Educator. Um, and each week we're bringing you conscious crafting, so different crafts that you can do at home with things you have around your house or even repurposing things that might otherwise go to waste. Um, so today we're gonna be making dancers out of coffee filters and pipe cleaners. And um, these are things that you can play around with, kind of like um, your own doll or toy. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your uh, coffee filters you're gonna want two on top of each other, and then you're gonna flatten them out as much as you can. The reason you're having two is we are gonna color these, and so the color is going to bleed through, and once you actually make the dancer, um, you'll be able to have two levels of the kind of skirt or the dress of the dancer. Um, so once you flatten it out, you can color it. Um, so that's, this is what I colored earlier. Um, so you can try to use colors that are gonna go well together. So you don't need to use every color you've got in your um, marker box because those are gonna end up making brown or black. Um, and the more white space you leave, um, the less colorful it'll be, but it's, it can be good to space things out. If you use really dark colors, it might end up just an overall kind of dark dress. Um, so this is what I did. Um, and then to add water to it, what you're gonna wanna use um, is you're gonna want a tray or something maybe from your kitchen that you can put it on so the water doesn't go anywhere. And then you're gonna to wanna to use a spoon or an eyedropper to actually uh, drop the water onto the coffee filter. You're gonna want it wet, but not soaking because otherwise it's never going to dry. You can see I have my coffee filters laid out. I'm just gonna take some water um, from a water bottle. You could also do this, like if you have one of those squirt water bottles, you could just use that squirt filt function. Then you're gonna drop some of the water onto it kind of delicately if you can or pouring if it happens. And that's gonna allow the water to spread out throughout the coffee filter and start to bleed those colors together. And once you've done that, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna dry your coffee filters. Uh, so you can dry those in the oven. Um, if you set it to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, um, that works pretty well. Um, I've dried mine out in the sun, um, so you can do it in a sunny space, either inside or outside. You can also dry them overnight. Um, and I would suggest not drying them on the same piece of uh, material that you got them wet on, otherwise it's gonna take longer. Um, this is one I made earlier, and so it's already dried, dried out in the sun. And you can see how you have the two different layers for your skirt. So they end up pretty similar because they're on top of each other. So it looks all like one uh, cohesive design. Um, and I just use washable markers. So you can use um, any sort of kind of washable markers to create those. Now, once you have your coffee filters all dry, um, this is where the actual creation starts to take place. So first you're gonna take one of the coffee filters. You're gonna fold it in half. And then you're gonna fold it several times. So this is it in half. You're gonna fold it again. And you're folding it until it almost can't be folded anymore. So here I have my tiny little pendant shape. And once you do that, you're gonna cut off just the bare little tip. So if you've ever made some, uh, snowflakes at home before and you just want to have that tiny little middle, this is going to be where our head goes through. So we're just going to kind of take your scissors, cut a small tip off because it's going to end up a lot larger. So it's really quite tiny. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unfold it back to having it half open and we're going to cut slits for our arms. So now it looks like this and then we're going to cut two slits right near the arm, right near the head opening for our arms. And these are gonna just be small and straight down. So I probably could have even done them even smaller, but here you have your slits for your arms. So once you've done this, you're gonna to wanna to make the body for your dancer. So this is the first part of the dress. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna make the body of your dancer. So you're gonna need two pipe cleaners. You can use whatever color you like. 
You're gonna fold one of them in half. And this is going to be where the head of your body comes from. So you've hold, folded one in half. And then, and these are also gonna be your legs. So it's the head and the legs are this pipe cleaner. Your other pipe cleaner you're gonna use to make the arms and make it actually become a person. So you're gonna take your other pipe cleaner, center it in the middle, and then use it to wrap around several times. So you're wrapping it up and you're going in both directions. So you can end up with the arms on the other side. So do it however many times kind of works for you. You can have a long arm dancer, a short arm dancer, um, up to you what you want your dancer to look like. I might do mine one more time actually. And then you can have it be your final result. And once you've done that, you have your kind of working body person. Um, and then you're gonna want to actually assemble your dress. So first up, I'm gonna put in this top layer of my dress. And just like if you're trying to like put on some clothes, you're gonna want those arms all the way up so they can go through the arm slits. So you're gonna put the arms through the arm slits and you're gonna put the head through the head slit. You may need to fold your head a little bit as you do this and then it'll poke back out. Being gentle with the coffee filter so it does not tear. And if you need to widen any of your holes, of course, feel free to do so. It is your dress, it is your dancer. So this is our beginning of our dress. And now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add the second layer before we um, secure everything. So we're gonna use this, a rubber band to secure everything. For this second layer, you're gonna do the same thing you first did with the first layer of the coffee filter, except you don't need the arm slits. You just need that middle hole. So I'm folding it in half several times, all the way till it's a small little pendant. You're gonna cut a tiny little hole, not too big, just need the legs to fit through. Once you've done that, you can unfold it until the halfway point. And then you're gonna wanna stick the legs through. So I have my dancer. I'm gonna take these two legs, I'm going to stick them through my skirt. You can choose what side uh, you want to be more prominent, of course. Now I'm putting on this second layer of the dress all the way up to the top, or almost to the top, so you have your multi-layered dress. And then you're gonna get to use your rubber band to secure everything, so to keep things nice and tight. So you can fold it a little bit if you need to. And you're doing it almost just like a belt, so most of it is still gonna be free. Um, And so then once you have your rubber banded belt, you can also create some feet for your dancer. So you're gonna wanna fold up the bottoms so that your dancer can actually stay flat on the ground. And you don't have to do two layers of the coffee filter. If you just wanna do one layer, that's perfectly fine. It just won't be able to stand up as well. And I think the two coffee filters gives it more of that full dress feel. Perfect, so here we have our dancer. So she is able to stand up. Um, and like I said, if you'd like to add some ribbon, you can. Um, so I'll grab some of that now. And there you have it. You have a coffee filter dancer um, and you can make as many as you would like, have a kind of whole um, dance group or um, that's all together. So I um, hope you guys try this at home. Leave your comments or pictures in the comments below. Um, and we'll be able to share them on our social media. And if you're looking for more things to do while you're at home, check out our website, thetrustees.org slash at home for resources from all 118 of our properties for um, different things to think about or go out and do um, either inside or outside um, while we're all at home. So thank you guys. Let us know what else you would like to see. Have a good weekend.